What up? This is gaming with Siege. I have not changed the intro since I started. Well, actually, yes, I have. It used to be hello, but like, anyways. Back for another video inside of CJ's Festive City. And in this video, we're going to be joined by Critter. You're always poking out of your. your oh. You're gonna need two of those for today, Critter. Um, oh, do I have a pickaxe? Wait, can you break pistons easily? You can, but I prefer to get a pickaxe. I'll grab a pickaxe. I have one in my house. And we're also going to be joined by Invisible. Uh, oh, he's not invisible anymore. <laughs> um, we were going to be joined by Invisible Snowball over here. Um, where's that pickaxe? If I forgot to put it in one of these chests, I will just quickly snatch one out of creative. Uh, Critter, are you still on creative? Can you hand me a pickaxe, please? I already have my two. So we need two pistons for today's mini game that we're playing. Um, we're playing a three-player because um, I couldn't get a helper in time to record it uh, because we need to have these videos recorded because, as you know, oh gosh, teleport is still closed, isn't it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I guess we could, like, nah, I don't want to break it. Um... Yeah, I couldn't find a helper because I kind of want because if you know if you know my schedule for recording um, CJ's Christmas countdown, we're always behind. On re oh, the countdown calendar! No one remind me. Um, but yeah, we're always behind on recording um, CJ's Christmas countdown episodes. So, um, anyways, uh, time for episode or <laughs> day two. Uh, well, it is technically episode two of CJ's Christmas countdown two, but like still. Um, so we're gonna flick number two, and a totem of undying. Um, you can always, I guess you can't go wrong with a totem of undying. Um, I'm going to stick that in my inventory just in case, you know. Actually, this would become in handy if infinite man is ever attacked. Um, but like, anyways, let's head over to the fun land to begin playing our... Yes, Critter? Can you not punch me? Thank you. <laughs> um, we're going to head over to the Funland to play our mini game that we built in the last episode, which was a one-episode build of a game, which is quite a record for me <laughs> for recording. I don't like this path. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. You guys will come back in the next episode. Well, probably not the next episode because we won't be um in the Funland in the next episode. Well, we might actually. I I don't really decide. I kind of decide what we're doing right before the episode, but, like, anyways. Yeah. Sorry for the silence. <laughs> um. Um. So, here is the minigame. I have made a game, or a name for it. I just haven't, um it on the side here. It's called Push. It's <laughs> literally just called Push. Um, and how it works is... Yes, Critter. How it works is... Um, you come over here. This is the dice. So whatever head you get here is um, the amount of rolls you get technically for like if it was a real dice these are the amount of rolls that you have on a dice so you've pushed this this technically rolls a dice you get a random one of these and say I got a six I get to do six pushes of that carpet that I have in there and basically how it works is everybody has to kind of swap so basically how it works say purple moves this way I have to try to get to purple space while Critter has to maybe try and get to my space or um, Snowball space, I can also go for Snowball space and Snowball has to get to my space or Critter space. Critter... You're supposed to be in survival, first of all. Um, but anyways, um, and we can't use this space because this player is not here. So we can only go swap with our spaces. But this gives us more space to move around to because if you... Another rule is you cannot have one piece completely disconnected. So say this piece was out here like this. This piece doesn't count anymore. You have to get rid of it. And that means that that piece of it's gone. And you now only have three pieces to work with. 
you can also attack too. So what I mean by that is you can push other people's. It has to be with. Not cheating, bro. It has to be with um your pieces. Um, you have to push. Their, if you want to disconnect their pieces, you have to use your pieces to disconnect their pieces. It's kind of confusing, but we'll get the hang of it eventually. So, everybody to your sides, and I also added redstone torches underneath this. That wasn't from the last episode. If you hit me one more time, Critter, I swear to God. Um, um, there's all, I also added redstone torches. Are we ready to, are we ready to start? We're gonna start this like a regular, um, like a regular card game, by the way. So I added redstone torches under here. So everybody, come out here. Whoever gets the highest roll on the dice uh, gets to go first. So I'll push the button first. I got four. Not horrible. Um, not great. Cri oh. Oh, poor critter. Critter got one. So pro, as of right now, the score to beat is um is four. It was a tie. <laughs> so, uh, I'll go again. Uh, you put that one back. And then, I'll go again, and then you get to go again. A three. And that's gonna be hard to beat. Um, Critter, or, uh, Pro, you go one more time. I'm gonna call you Pro, because that's what I'm used to calling you. Oh, he's using honey to, to bribe the machine. I hope he gets Steve head. Did he get a zombie? He got a zombie head. Okay, so I get to go first. So I'm going to push the button. This gets to debate. But guys, remember, it could be a one. I could get a one from this. Uh, it could be... <laughs> Starting off with a six. Okay, so I started off with a six. That's a pretty good start off. So I have to also... But you also have to plan it out really intensely. So I'm going to put one there. So my things are still together. One there. So I guess I'm kind of going to do a, a backwards kind of thing here oh well that counts actually if you do a miscount then that's um that also counts i think that was my fourth one two three four yeah so i did four uh, i'm gonna have to let's do five six there so that's where mine are so who is next pro you're next so you go out here and you push the button and see what your next what your role is oh with the honey did you get a dragon head too What'd you get? You got you gotta put it back. Oh, he got the all. Oh. He got he got a two. <laughs> oh well, it's not bad. It's not horrible. Um, I think it'd be better if we almost made the blocks more full. But we'll we'll think about that for when we do it next time. Okay, so he just did those ones. Critter, it is your turn to push the button in. And you got a four. Not a bad roll. I won't I won't say that's a bad roll. That's actually a pretty good roll. Um, so you come in here. This is kind of like a board game, if I'm on, being completely honest. Like, kind of like, you gotta kind of go to travel. So four rolls for Critter. So he gets to place four pistons down for just to see where he wants to. Because remember, you have to... One of you, honest... I'm actually not going to give them the tip. I'm not even going to say. I'm not even going to give them the... Um, the idea I was gonna go for, cause then, uh, cause then I could th think of doing something which we don't want. Oh, smart! Oh, is he going? He might be going for the attack. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna, when I do my next roll, I'm gonna move away, cause this could be bad, cause I could get less rolls and they can get more rolls. Okay, I got a three. That's not, that's not overly good, but it's not horrible. So, we'll do this one, I guess, just to get away from Critter. But that's the issue. Now I'm going towards Pro. Which we also don't want. So I got it. So I could do that. Get the kind of L shape going. Oh, that kind of messed me up, though, didn't it? See, because if I push this one here... No, it still counts, because as long as it's on an angle... But then Pro could ruin me, so... We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to keep it that shape. I think I just... That was my three rolls. So, Pro, it's your turn to go next. So, let's see what Pro gets out here.
Oh, now he's using experience bottles, because I don't think he had a very um, happy score last time. What did he get? What did he get? Oh, he got the Wither Skull, so he got six, or five. That's not. That's a good roll. I would take that. So, remember, you have to try and get to one of our spaces. So, like, the same where we started. So, mine started one, two, three, four. You have to get yours in the exact same shape that it was. See, if I were pro, where mine is already moved enough that he can kind of squeeze in here, I would start moving for mine. So, I just kind of gave him a tip. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I think he might be going for the attack. Or he's making it one, four square, I don't know. How many rolls do you have left? Three? Three. Three left. Oh, he might be going for the attack. I think he's going for the attack. I might have, if Critter doesn't attack me, then I might have to retreat. So that's four, one more. There we go, that's his, uh, that's his rolls, so not bad here. Um, Critter, your turn. Let's see what you get. You got a zombie skull, so he got, oh, he only got two. Oh, poor Critter. He can't do anything with that, unfortunately. And luckily, he's still connected that, so he's still good. He's still connected on the diagonal. Oh! Critter, you just, you lost one of your blocks. I get to take that, because you, you were on my quarter. <laughs> oh, Critter, okay. So, um, that, he used that just to ruin one of his blocks. Alright, so, now it is my turn to, wait, I only have one of Critters, so I gotta break that in half and put it in there so I don't get messed up. Dirt, really? Oh. <gasps> And it worked, I will admit, <laughs> I will admit, it did work. Um, how should I do this? Oh, I only have one, we're gonna go with the two. We're gonna keep them connected that way. Just so that it might be harder for them to, you know, do that. So, Pro, your turn. Do you want me to push the button for, oh, well guess what, I'll throw dirt on yours. Let's see what you get. Did he get a Steve head? He got the Steve head. I guess the dirt is unlucky. Um, I guess the dirt is not the best, um, the best thing to uh, to have there. Uh, so he can't actually hurt me this time. So that's actually good. Critter kind of um, <laughs> made a mistake with his. It's okay, Critter. You still have time to get to the other side. You just have to think positively. Okay, so he did that with his. He made it a bit. That's actually smart. That's actually not a bad, a bad idea. So, Critter, it's your turn. Is it Critter's turn or is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we got four. That's not bad. That's good. Not that he can really attack anybody with that. Careful, Critter. <laughs> Be careful. I'm just making you aware. And he misplaced. <laughs> You're going to disconnect all your blocks if you do that. You you just disconnected a block cutter. Was that on purpose? Oh, he might have a plan. That's yours, Critter. You get to keep it because it was still in your district. No, you don't place it back. You don't. You just get to keep it in your inventory because it was your. It was in your area. Okay, you two. Okay, you two. Critter, you still have two more or one more go to go. Or did you use them all? You still have one there too. Critter, you gonna. Critter, don't mess this up. Okay, he didn't mess it up that time, but he is kind of blocking me. He is making it difficult for me. Um, let's see. <gasps> I got a six. 
I got a six. All right, so now we have two. I'm gonna go this way. That's two, three. Four, five, and how should I do this? Six. There. We'll do it that way. All right. Hold on. Oh, we're missing one. Critter, do you have one in your inventory? Critter? Do you want to put it back in the... You don't have it? Bro, do you have an extra head in, in your inventory? Oh, what was it? Was it this? It was this, wasn't it? Or was it this. I think it was that. It was that, Critter? Yeah. Alright. I can't remember. Alright, Pro, how many do you got two? Oh. You only had two left. You messed one up. You're allowed to keep your carpet, but, like, you don't... You can't place it back down. You can't place it back down. And then... How many pro did you just go? Yeah, you went. No, pro, you didn't go yet. Oh, he's going back. He might be trying to block me. But you only got two goes, remember, pro? One more. Uh, okay. Critter, your turn. You only have one left. Or two left. Four, not bad. I'd take that. We're still missing a skull. Pro, you have two skulls in your inventory. There we go. One, two. Okay. Okay, there we go. Four, all right, so he's going back to the defensive position. All right, hold on. I'm gonna try pro's trick with the honey bottles. Wither Skull! Okay, I'll take a Wither Skull. I'll take five goes. Let's see if I can win with that. Hold on. So, one. Two. Three. Four. Hang on. Five. Not quite a win. I still need to get one there. Oh! Oh, no, I was still connected. Dang it. I could have... If it was this, just this one over here and that one over there somewhere, I still would have been able to pick that one up, but I saw that it was a four. So you got four moves. But you can't place them to move mine, they have to move your own, so that's the issue. You could, because I still have, I only, I have one, I technically have one two more goes in order to win. Are you asking if you can push mine off the thing? No, that's that's against the rules. Only inside the white. Sadly. <laughs> that was a rule I developed. I actually came in the world and I was like, hmm, should I make that a rule? And I'd be like, no, I'll get out of hand and end up pushing it into the wall and stuff. Because then it, you can't get it out. That's why I have like this so you can push it. Because you have the walking space. Oh no, pro! Wait, he can take. Oh, okay. I'm just not going to say anything and see what he does. You gotta be careful with what you do, pro! Because remember, the amount of limited. Because technically, two of them are in position, so I still get the points even if you knock those two out. Pro, I just won. Do you realize that? Because technically, when I break the two, these two are still in position. But I do get limited points. 
So I only get, hold on, so since I'm the first one here, I get the three points for the first, for first place. Then I get two bonus points for the two spaces that I have. So how, how much is that? Five. Technically I got five points. Let's see if you guys can get, because now it's just you two. So actually, wait. Technically, if pro, it wouldn't matter. Because if critter goes to my space or pro goes to my space, pro would still win anyways because he gets second place, which is two points. And, yeah, no, technically, pro would still win. So, pro, you are the actual winner of the game. <laughs> By one point. I could have won that if you didn't get rid of my two lime carpets. So Pro is actually the victor of the game and um, the first winner of a CJ's Christmas countdown mini game. Um, congratulations, Pro. Um, I'll get you a trophy because that's what we do in this game. I don't know what the trophy will be. Uh, maybe it will be a terracotta or a blue terracotta for his um, for, for his win from this because he's the blue team. Anyways, that will conclude our game of, what did I call it, push? Push. Yes. I need to put the sign down so I don't forget that. Anyways, that will conclude our game of push, and in the next episode, we will be heading actually over to the town, because if you do remember, I wanted to start this series off with um, with just a nice mini game or restart this CJ City off with a nice mini game rebuilding, or mini game building, not rebuilding. Um, so we're going to head back into the town in the next episode, which will be tomorrow for day number three of CJ's Christmas Countdown. And we will be heading into town and finishing off the park by adding a few trees, maybe a waterfall. Um, you know, plans could change. I actually could change my mind on that. But um, I could actually come back to the fun land for all I know. But as of right now, my goal is to get to the park and finish that off. But I want to thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below saying what we should put in this world because we are always in need of your ideas, especially after Chichi's Christmas Countdown because I'm going to need some ideas because I don't know if we're taking a break this time. We're going to pray because last Christmas I took uh, about a month break, um, but I'm trying not to this year. I might. I might just after because it's always nice to have a little Christmas, Christmas break after, so you never know. But I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next countdown episode. See Jay out.